the job done, Rod. I think you got the right guy. I'd pick him. And this eagle, if he were to somehow get it, I think would change the whole championship. I really do. By well, golly, this is a great looking shot if the distance is good. That almost landed in the hole. It certainly appeared that way. I, I don't know how you can hit a better shot than that. I don't. I have no idea how you can hit a better shot than that. But now left with a brutally tough 65 footer that if he hit it too hard, could roll down the false front some 50 yards off the green. This was a pressure putt like few others. In what had to be the most dramatic and exciting moment of the championship to that point, Tiger's amazing eagle at 13 meant a two-stroke gain on the leaders. Woods was one under, one behind Westwood, and now just three behind Rocco. Then on the next tee, Tiger hoped to keep the momentum alive. Tiger! He started it right, but it is not turning. It is going to mess well right up in the gallery. Tiger would go on to bogey the hole and fall back to even. But it didn't cost him too much. Mediate for par at the 13th. His six on the par five rattled Rocco, who slipped back to three under. Tiger, who had badly missed the fairways on the prior two holes, had driver in hand at the 15th. That might be the knee there. That's the knee. The shot was fine, though, but clearly he was in pain. And despite it, Tiger regrouped and went on to par the hole. Also at the 15th, Mediate, who missed just his second green of the day, had a tough pitch. Wow. That's not good at all. He made a costly double to fall to one under, giving Westwood a one-shot lead. Then at the next. Mediate for par. Up the hill, turning left. I don't think it'll break that much. Well, that's four over par the last four holes, and it all started with the short miss at 13. Rocco and Tiger now trailed Westwood by two. Up at 18, the leader had a short birdie putt to extend his lead. He should make this. That would have given Westwood a three-shot lead, but instead, it stayed at two, as he finished one under for the day, two under par through three rounds. Back at the 17th, Tiger had an awkward stance and was chipping from the rough, hoping to get it up and down just to save par. What's up? Oh, you got to be kidding. Oh, he knows it, too. He got away with one there. <laughs> and one more look. Oh, obviously comes out much quicker than he expected. <laughs> Jeez, the stance just about got rocked down. The miraculous chip-in for Birdie improved Woods to one under par, and he trailed Westwood by a single stroke. Moments later, Rocco at 17. And mediate for birdie. This one very makeable, Gary. Right to left. Yes, Rocco. There you go. Way to come back. Get your mojo back, yeah, Rocco. There's that smile again. And now mediate and Woods were both at minus one. Westwood safely in the clubhouse with a one-shot lead. Ahead at the par 5, 18. Tiger hit a much needed perfect tee shot, leaving him 226 to the hole. Well, he's hit it way up in the air, and the ball is cutting right of the hole. It's almost like he doesn't really get a great chance to enjoy it. He just looks down and grimaces after another swing. The amazing five wood meant a two putt would give Tiger a share of the lead, but Tiger wasn't thinking of just a two-putt birdie. There's your leader. Second eagle on the back nine for Tiger Woods. That's what you call limping home. And he's in the position that he's been in that's put away 13 previous major championships.
Get the knee up on ice, Tiger. Look at this. You've got another 54-hole lead in a major championship, and I don't think he's attained that kind of position quite like he did today. This has been absolutely <laughs> remarkable. A truly spectacular round indeed for Tiger Woods, who was five shots back at the 12th and now led Westwood by with her sharing their love of the sport with her children. Another poor tee shot at the first left Woods in trouble. This ball's come out straight left, mm. hits a tree, and kicks left again. What starts he's had to his rounds this week, the worst of his career. It's Sounds amazing he's leading it. His opening hole adventure wasn't over yet. This is third. Oh, he got it up too quick, hit the tree. Can you believe this, Roger? Have you ever seen it's a start just, like it's just by No, I never have. He, this first hole is just giving him fits all week. Yeah, but this is another notch worse than the other days. He would go on to make his fourth double of the week, dropping to one under. And while Tiger was struggling, Rocco was surging. Over to two. And Rocco mediate for Bernie to get to two under par. He may be in the lead in a minute, Gary. This is a right edge putt. Yes, sir. Good start for Rocco. Up the second for Tiger, who uh, has been using his clubs as a cane. A double bogey, bogey start, dropped Woods to even par, two behind Mediate and one behind Westwood. After a bogey of his own at the fifth, Rocco had this to save par at the sixth. He's going to drop another one. Second straight hole that he's bogeyed, and he's back to even and out of the lead, and Westwood is the man by himself right now. Back to the tee at eight, championship leader by one, Lee Westwood. Eight iron in hand here. It's a blind green, the players can't see, but just that right side, that little sliver over here, you can see. Well, this on a good line. There's a birdie. Hasn't made one all day. There's the shot of the day for him. So plus one on the day, a chance to get it back to an even round today and increase the lead to two. That's a great opportunity lost. And Westwood remained at one under. Rocco mediates second at the tenth, one behind. He made that for birdie and tied Westwood at one under. Back at the ninth, Woods made his first birdie of the day, forcing a three-way tie at one under, but that didn't last long as his fellow competitor Westwood regained sole possession of the lead at two under with his short birdie putt. But on the next, the leader drove into a fairway bunker, leaving him 129 yards to the hole. This one's come out low. He sculled it. This is out of here. Flew the green. Wow. Westwood with a bogey, and once again, a three-way tie for the lead. Ahead at the 11th, Tiger with a three iron off the tee. And it's just a little left to the hole, trying to cut. That was a heck of a shot. That was a beauty that's going to come back. We saw this earlier. It comes all the way down within five feet. And there we have it. Tiger Woods on the prowl. This for the lead by himself. The field's going to quiver if he makes this. Would you have expected anything else? Tiger, after a plus three start, the first two holes has birdied two out of the last three and has taken charge of the back nine in this U.S. Open. Rocco with 13. Shooting straight up the hill there, Mark. And all the way from the bottom of the hill. Good looking shot here. Beautiful shot. First guy to get it there, I'm going to tell you. Now he's having some real fun, Mark. Rocco with this to tie for the lead. The 13th hole would also prove to be unlucky for Westwood and Woods, whose great tee shots were one yard from each other. Westwood second from 292, and he was going for it. And he's pulled a big pull yank left. Watch out here. There's oh, ice man. plant over there. There is ice plant. Woods, faced with exactly the same shot, could have laid up and had a chance for birdie, but instead, he chose to play aggressively. Oh, this is pulled. This is further left than Westwood's. 
Oh, how about this? How about this? They both made bogey at the hole. Woods dropping to minus one, Westwood to plus one. Ahead at the 14th, Mediate's tee shot found the greenside bunker, leaving him with this for his second to the par four. Rocco not going away. That's for Birdie. New leader, maybe. Yeah, Rocco's fans are happy about that. Seemingly at peace, like his belt buckle would indicate, Rocco had a one shot lead over Tiger Woods. At the 14th, after Westwood drove the green and missed the eagle, this for Birdie. Well done, good play. Moves Lee back to even par, two shots behind Rocco. Where did he need that, Murph? Ahead at the 15th, the leader with a short putt to save par. Another miss by Mediate, and now he and Woods were tied. Westwood, one back. But Tiger had troubles of his own at 15. This to save par. It's just like way downhill from here. He has never lost a lead, a 54-hole lead in a major championship. No. You know, with a foot and a half to go, that hit something and kicked left. It was breaking right into the center of the cup, and it nicked something and kicked it left. And he is not happy about that. Tiger's bogey meant Rocco was again the leader. Woods and Westwood trailed by one with just three holes left. Rocco made pars at 16 and 17, and then at the 18th, another short putt for par. So after 72 holes, the 158th ranked player in the world, Rocco Mediate, was in position to realize. Grimacing his way to perhaps forcing a playoff. Rocco could barely stand still. He was just moments away from winning his first major title if both Woods and Westwood failed to make their birdies. Westwood's going to come up short. One last bullet for Rocco Mediate to try to avoid. Two over 73 for Westwood, who began the day one behind Tiger. That was seen as set again for Tiger Woods in a major championship. Look at this. this is, it doesn't get any more exciting for Rocco than this. Unbelievable. I knew he'd make it. What a birdie from the lie he had on the third shot. And that ball went in by a hundredth of an inch. This ball could have lipped out just as easily as it went in. But when you Tiger Woods, they don't dare wiggle out. Another 72nd hole scene from Tiger Woods. 